Ben Adru is a 20-year-old skateboarder who is just starting his professional career. This is all Ben has ever wanted. Ever since he was a kid, he always dreamed about becoming a professional skateboarder, and now this has finally come true. Ben does everything with his skateboard. No matter where he goes, he always has his skateboard with him. Life was good, until one day, Ben and Drew presented to A&E following a serious injury. <gasps> the damage was so severe that Ben needed surgery. On the left we can see what happened to his left ankle. And on the right, we can see what it looked like after surgery. After careful consideration, you, the doctor, realize that even with the most optimal recovery, his days as a professional skateboarder are gone. How would you break the bad news to Ben? What are some of the things we must keep in mind when breaking bad news? And what is the right way to go about it? So I'm just a second year medical student and I haven't had to break any bad news yet and I won't have to do that in a long time still. However, in this video, we're just gonna have a look at what med school teaches us on how to break bad news. So first off, bad news can be defined as any news that adversely and seriously affects an individual's view of his or her future and all bad news have uh, serious adverse consequences for patients and families. So in this case, uh, not being able to skate anymore is life-changing for Ben. However, if it was a patient like palpitations, um, it wouldn't really affect him. So it is very important to know your patient and know what would be bad news or not. So to break bad news, we have the SPIKES acronym. It is just a stepwise protocol to, to follow when breaking bad news, it makes things a lot better. So the S stands for setting, the P for perception, the I for information or invitation, the K for knowledge, the E for empathy, and then the last S is for summarize or strategize. So let's break them down. So setting. Um, this is where we're gonna pick a private and quiet room where we're going to deliver the news. So this is very important because you don't want many people around, you don't want anyone around really, because this is private patient information and it should remain confidential. And also when breaking bad news, you must have in mind that these are devastating news to the patient. So the patient might cry, they might get angry, they might even get physical with the doctor uh, in rare cases um, and having people around is always a bad idea in those situations. So yeah, it's just respecting your patient's privacy, you should pick a private room. So the next uh, step is perception. This is essentially establishing how well does the patient know uh, their condition, like how well do they know what's going on. Uh, this is important so we make sure we're on the same page, uh, we make sure there are no questions or doubts or misunderstandings that need to be cleared. And then this goes straight on to the next point, which is invitation. And that is essentially establishing how much more does the patient want to know. Um, so some patients might not really want to know about their condition. Um, it, it is usually a coping mechanism or they just prefer to live in the moment, uh, which is completely fine and we must respect that. So the next step is knowledge. This is where you break the bad news. Um, it is important to allow for pauses, to be, don't say a bunch of information at once because it is really hard to absorb all of that, especially when receiving bad news as they can be very devastating. Um, also, don't sugarcoat. Um, don't say it's going to be better than how it's actually going to be. Just be real and direct. 
And remember to use plain language, avoiding jargon, because it makes things much harder to understand. Now, knowledge also applies to the doctor. So, as a doctor, you need to make sure you have enough knowledge to answer any relevant questions that the patient might have. Um, so, you make sure you are actually helping. Uh, because you must be really bad as a patient to be in a situation where you want to know what's going on with you. You ask your doctor, well, what are some of the complications that might happen to me, for example? And your doctor just doesn't know. Um, it really doesn't help. Next step is empathy. This is a really important one. Um, this essentially allows time for your patient to express their emotions, their feelings, um, and respond appropriately. Uh, make sure you acknowledge their feelings, um, try to comfort them, and it is important to give them that time. Um, so silence is a really big and positive thing. And when breaking bad news, don't be afraid of the silence. Let the patient take their time and um, digest that information. So the last letter is the S for summarize and strategize. This also goes in hand with that empathy and allowing uh, for time. So give the patient their time. And afterwards, just summarize what's going on to make sure the patient has understood everything. And then with strategize, you will plan a course of action because you're telling the patient, let's say, unfortunately, Ben, you will not be able to um, be a professional skateboarder anymore. However, uh, here's the plan going forward. We're going to start you in uh, physiotherapy, hopefully um, make your muscles, uh, build them strong again. Uh, you're going to go through surgery, let's say you're going to do this, this and that. This is the approximate time you need to be out recovering and here are the possibilities you know so the patient uh, has some hope there is some knows that there's something that can be done for their condition or to at least ease off their symptoms uh, it is very important so that's the end summarize and strategize are also really big things when breaking bad news so this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. And um, just as a disclaimer, this is not real patient information. Uh, Benadryl is a fictional character and the image used in this video, uh, the all the footage is of myself. I did break my leg once skateboarding. However, it wasn't as bad as that x-ray showed at all. <laughs> and it wasn't breaking any bad news uh, because I, I, I'm fine. So, yeah, that's not, I'm not breaking confidentiality here, so don't worry about that. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, in the description, there's a Discord for students to help each other out, um, study, answer questions, and just motivate us to study. So if you'd like to check that out as well, uh, the link is in the description. And thank you very much for watching.